a woman searching for purpose and success? A housewife? Maybe a single mother? You're in the right place. Welcome to Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with Ms. Lisa Nobles. Activate, motivate, inspire. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to the Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. I am Miss Lisa Nobles, your hostess, and I am so excited and elated to have you here with me today. Speaking of today, our subject or our topic consists of how to dare to dream like a boss, four keys are in which I will be sharing four keys, which is a part of the business building skills series. Let's go ahead and move forward. Key number one is self-discovery or being distinctive, which is the D in the dare. Being distinctive means living your next level. Being distinctive means raising your current standards of operation to do more, to be more, to become more. You are living to to face your fears. When you are in the phase of self-discovery, your growth opportunities are avoiding allowing your worries to outweigh your dreams. Here, family, you are determined to win because your distinctive nature dictates that you are a winner. You believe in your abilities and yourself for that matter. And guess what? I believe in you too. As my original minister used to say fear is false evidence appearing real remain in the moment of your passions family key number two is self-awareness or the attributes are the a in the dare during this phase of your journey, your opportunity for growth is avoiding self-doubt due to your lack of confidence, family. And, and that's hard for a lot of us. And you may feel that no one believes in you, thereby you may procrastinate, which is described as a lack of time on your behalf. Your empowerment learning is to defy the odds of self-opposition by once again believing in yourselves. Work to make your dream work by setting a goal to work on your dream for at least 60 minutes a day and make that a daily goal that shares your commitment to yourselves and what you believe in family. Key number three is self-worth which is the require or the R in the dare. Your opportunity for growth here is acknowledging your traits of low self-image and worth. To increase your self-worth that's not only being true to others yet you must learn to be authentic towards yourself practice being good to yourself by gently remind avoiding self-hatred behaviors like speaking unkindly to yourself challenge the way you see yourself and then challenge all negative beliefs about yourself Make it a requirement to know your worth. And key number four and your last key for today is self-esteem, which brings excellence, which is the E in the dare. During during this phase, you are focusing focusing on building your self-esteem for some, or rather increasing in your self-esteem for others. Some people have a low view of themselves, which causes them excuse me, causes them to sabotage their opportunity. Chances in life are even their own success. Success on the outside could coexist with the success that is reflected on the inside. In your heart, right? But that is not always the case. You can be successful in public and loathe yourself when no one is looking. You can be successful in one arena and cry yourself to sleep at night. I've been there, done it about the cake too. How many people are domestically abused or alcoholic or whatever their driving pain is but they manage to capitalize on their latest venture they're still success they still operate even within that that weakness opportunities for growth here is anger and minimize your frustration which for some makes us procrastinate based on what hidden fears hidden worries hidden doubts the empowered solution here is to inspire yourself keep the faith and remember that self-love is self-preparation 
preservation. Know your truth, family. Guess what? Here is your empowerment quote for today by Miss Elizabeth Gilbert, who once said, Never forget that once upon a time, in an unguarded moment, you recognized yourself as a friend. That is powerful. I am elated to have participated in, the, in this show today. I know that someone somewhere was touched by this wealth of knowledge. Thank you for being a part of the Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with, Ms. Ms., with me, Miss Lisa Noble's family. And as a bonus, please visit www. I am lisanobles.com slash podcast where you can receive a free gift just for listening to the show. Please download and share this episode. And you know me. I love you. I truly do. And thank you for being a part of the show. And remember, remember my mantra. And as I always say, you are, you are a unique combination of experiences. Clothes in purpose, straight, purpose, strength, and destiny. Have a great week and I'll see you right here next time on the Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast with Ms. Lisa Nobles online at imlisanobles.com and on Facebook and Instagram at EWOFP. If you enjoyed today's episode, please rate and review and we'll catch you next time on Savvy Speaks Empowerment Podcast. Activate, motivate, inspire.